Hello again, everybody. I'm Jeff of the Game Capital, and today we're gonna open up another box of Modern Horizons for you all. The set seems to be holding up pretty well overall, as far as singles are concerned. A uh, few things have jumped up pretty decently already uh, since the last box opened on Wednesday. I'm actually opening this on Monday. What does it say? The 10th, 9th, something like that. Whatever Monday, second Monday of June is. That that's what today is. Uh, might be uploaded the same day. Not sure. Uh, we shall see. Uh, but yeah, a few things have jumped up quite a bit in price since last Wednesday because I have, you know, my little cheat sheet here of the highest price stuff that I wrote down and I made some adjustments based on what has changed. So, just go over that really quick for you guys. Um, Hogak, Hogak, I don't know how you say it, but he wasn't on my list last time. So, I don't know if he wasn't on TCG Player yet at the time or if he just got up from below 10. But we had a couple that we sold for like 13 a couple days ago. It's at 28 now and one of, if not the best selling cards of the set right now. Echo Vion one of the biggest losers from 24 down to 18. Force Negation, the biggest gainer from 21 to 31. Fire Islet up a few points. Yogmoth down a couple. Season Pyromancer down a couple. Prismatic Vista up seven from 18 to 25. Again, from last Wednesday until Monday. So a five day uh, movement there. Sunbay can up five bucks. A couple hours down two. A couple in right down. Several hours down like 50 cents, two dollars. But most are staying pretty much right around where they were. So I call the backside here too. Ultra Dimension seems to be on the rise right now. Then Hex Drinker is a Mythic at 8. And then there's a lot more after that as well. Um, there seems to be a lot of nice add value in the foils as well in the set. And there's a lot of like 20 cent uncommons in the set that are currently going for like 5 to $10. So you can find a lot of extra value that way as well. Um, there's also there's a couple of uncommons. Non-foil are pushing about a buck. Um, just... Extra stuff to find a little extra value here and there. Of course, you get the islands in each every pack. Or, not the islands, the snow-covered lands in every pack. And you get the art card in every pack. There is Sarah, the art card of the set. Main one, yes. And token. So, um, every pack you get a token. Sometimes the tokens foil. Every pack you get an art card. They're, they're never foiled. They're, they're, they're just glossy or whatever. Naturally, but... Still, just extra stuff to help add value. So, while the EV on the surface may not seem amazing on the surface... Did I say on the surface twice? I might have. I don't know. Um, it's looking pretty decent so far. It's looking pretty decent. Uh, we're cracking more and more of these. Uh, you can find singles from us for this set on our website, thegamecapital.com. Or you can just browse the TG Player and look for us, The Game Capital. Um, usually we listen to stuff, at least as of when we list them. We try to be the cheapest on there when it makes sense, at least. Um, but... Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, goblin Engineer, Snow-Covered Swamp. And a f we got so many goblins in our previous box opening, too. But, uh, yeah, we experienced a lot in our first box. I think we had 16 foils. I think it was 8 tokens and 8 not tokens. So, you get close to a foil in every other pack overall. Overall. So, while it's not a master set, Mirrored and Besieged, and Urza's Rage, for our first non-token foil of this box. And I'm sorry if I take it off screen, I'm just trying to go fast enough here. Uh, but, you know, you know, we'll, we'll do our best. We'll do our best. And we're putting a lot of this non-camera too, just FYI. So, just because you don't see us pull something on camera doesn't mean we don't have it or won't have it in the very near future. Um, we got more being opened up at our storefront right now as well. I'm opening this at the warehouse doing our recording videos here, so, uh, yeah, we we opened three boxes off camera before today, and we've got, I know they opened at least two more boxes before I start opening this one, so, we're, we're probably going to multiple cases in the end here, so, keep checking back if you're looking for anything special that we don't have listed right now, uh, we're relisting stuff regularly right now, at least in the short term here, so, keep checking back. You just might find what you're looking for. If not the first time, perhaps the second time. But yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Hall of Heliage Generosity. Snow Covered Plains. And there's the Urza art. And a foil elemental token. Yeah, as of this recording at least. Unless I'm just blind or in order to look. Uh, they do not have the tokens for this set. Nor do they have... Um... The art series cards from this set on TCG Player right now. So, uh, ooh, we got the Hogak foil. Oh, baby. That's some money right there. That's some money right there. Whoo. 
I, um, I, I remember looking at this card in particular before this recording, and as of when I recorded this, none of these were even listed on TCG Player. So this might, 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 might currently be like a hundred plus dollars, quite possibly. Um, we already had a Force of Negation foil that we sold for over a hundred bucks. So I think it's going to be another rare that is up there in money. That's a rare you want to find, especially in foil. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. And I think this is Echo of Eons. See, I'm slowly learning. I'm slowly learning. As of more of these, I'll recognize some of the arts for the art series cards that actually can call them out by name at times. I'm getting there. I'm a-learning. I'm a-learning. Tranquil Thicket. Mox Tantalite. Is that on my list? I think it's like 10 bucks. I think it's like 10 bucks. Uh, 13. Maybe down a couple bucks since the last video, but that's why I have written down. Uh, like I said, some of the stuff that went down like 50 cents to a dollar, so I didn't bother writing the new price because I was like, eh, it's, it's pretty close. So it'll give me a good enough idea of the value while I'm opening at least. I want to write down and change every little thing, so yeah, no. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Scale up. That's the highest price uncommon of the set right now. Um, there might be some foils that are higher priced just because uh, certain cards that are reprints that are from sets that did not have foils back in the day. Um, some are like, I think it was Iconic Masters, I think. There's a lot of foils in that set. And Battlebond too. Uh, where the foils just had insane premiums over the non-foils just because they were desired cards that never previously had a foil version even though they had been printed before. Um, True Day Nemesis, the main one comes to mind. Where I think, I don't know what the present day value is, but I know back then, like, the regular non-foil True Nemesis was maybe, like, 10 to 15, I want to say. And the foil was, like, 200 plus. Just to give you one example of uh, the premium some foils had. There's a foil spider. That's worth a million dollars. Gotta be. Gotta be. Everyone wants a foil spider. I know it. I know it. Ooh, crypt rats. Th those are some creepy rats, let me tell you. Those are some creepy rats I do not want to encounter in any dark alley. Or, well, lit alley, for that matter. I, I just don't want to encounter them. Simple as that. Simple as that. Let's see, I think our first box was like 25-ish minutes? Maybe I can get this one down close to 15. Maybe. Maybe. Could probably still go quick. I can probably just keep the comments like I'm together. Yogmoth. Uh, let's see, that one is higher. That's... Down to about 18, it was 20 last week, so down a couple points, but still, still up there. And we got the Yogmoth art in the same pack. Two Yogmoths, one pack! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Yogmoth! I wouldn't mind some foil talismans. Get some of the lower rarity foils that are solid as well. Pashalik Mons. I don't know if he's any good, but he looks interesting. Uh, he, sh he shouldn't get a stuffed nose ever, right? Because he's got some massive nostrils. Massive nostrils. Who's this? That's interesting. Like, their their face is just, just light. They have no face. I don't know. I don't recognize that card. I don't know if I've pulled that one yet. Maybe it's not a... Maybe it's a common or something in the set, and I haven't paid attention to those. I don't know. Sunbaked Canyon. That's another solid pull. Whether the Storm Common Foil. And a Plains... And to that, and an illusion. It was all but an illusion. But uh, that that hogak, hogach, that was real. That was real. That was solid. Grave shifter. Fiery Islet. Our first Fiery Islet in our previous opening, the like text or the ink was like doubled up, so it was really weird. That one looks normal though. Hey, another goblin token. It took us a while to get our second one there. Our first non-foil of the box for goblin. All right. End of the first half of this box. What we got here? Got something foil. I think a token. Talisman. Sword of Truth and Justice. That's our third mythic? I think it's our third mythic already. Halfway through the box. Another island. Always good. Uh, Renin 6, I believe that is. One of the best cards of this set. And a foil bear token. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. All the bees. All the bees. Tranquil Thicket. Thicket, Cable Therapist, Planes. Um, oh, I should know what your name is, I feel like. Looks like a character I should remember the name of, but I, if they're rares, mythics, as I pull them, I'll probably recognize a lot of the names and, or arts to know the names off the top of my head, but yeah. Tectonic 
The wreath formation. Squirrel nest. Foil squirrel nest. Goblin. All right, goblins are starting to show up more. Let me uh, grab my common stack here. Smack it around a bit and stick it in there. Otherwise, I'm going to knock it over and just going to... Stack maintenance is going to just go out the window. Stack maintenance will not be a thing. Let's see. Tribute mage. Cordial vampire. <laughs> is there such a thing as a cordial vampire? I mean, yes, be my guest. Let me soak your blood. I don't know. That doesn't see seem cordial to me. Like, yeah, it might be inviting and a, and a good host, but uh, it's not going to end well. It's not going to end well. But hey, uh, proceed with caution. Uh, results may vary. I don't know. Squirrel! So we got a foil squirrel nest and a foil squirrel token. All the foil squirrels. All the foil squirrels. This box is just squirrely. It's a squirrely box, let me tell ya. Revenous Giant Genesis Mountain. Whoa, I th is he getting thanos Is he getting thanos snapped right there? I don't know. Might be getting a Thanos snap. Dun, 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 dun. Undead. Waterlog Grove. That's our third Horizon Land. I keep forgetting, are they Horizon Lands or Campy Lands? Foil shapeshifter. I keep forgetting. Or you can just call them Horizon Campy Lands. Call it both, and then then you're covered, I guess. But I, I think Campy Lands is what Wizards just trying to coin them as initially, at least, if I remember right. And a regular Hogak, 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 Arisen Necropolis as well. Oh, this box seems solid. This box seems solid. Another island, always solid, always Gucci. Please don't click away because I said Gucci. I'm sorry. I'm liking this box. I'm liking this box. Scuttling regrowth. Prismatic Vista. There's another. That's one of the bigger moves. That went from 18 last week to 25 as time was recording. There's a blade back. Sliver. Foil. Planes. Zombie. 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 Ah. <sighs> Another foil token upcoming. Battle Screech. So Face of Divinity. That's the token. Or sorry, the art series card we got. Enchant Creature. Pure Soul Shine Bright as Daybreak. So I, I guess that is a pure soul right there. And that, that's why they're shining like that. Eldamari's Call. That one's hard to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Illusion Foil. Look a little bit like Hawkeye or Ronin or someone. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. All right. Let's, let's keep powering through here. Don't want to slow down too much. Try to keep this moving for you. Collected Conjuring. Mountain. Soldier. I think we're going to break 15 minutes, but... Got eight packs left. Less than a quarter of the box. And yeah, maybe be like 18 minutes. Depending on if, how much, if anything, I show at the end end. We'll see. We'll see. Force of Virtue. Another island. Give me all those islands. All the islands, please. I want them all. Tempered Sliver. Ayula, Queen of Queen of Mun Bears. That one, the text seems kind of doubled up a little bit too. Like my first fairy is the last opening, but maybe not. Maybe not. Not as bad as it looked. Not as bad as it was. Blah, blah, blah. Talking's hard. Got another goblin. Surprise. No one. No one should be surprised by that. Goblins are everywhere. So many goblins. Another spirit. Snow-covered swamp. And an illusion. Yeah, that another spirit. I think that was one of the top five cards that Slurian Community College said uh, would have the biggest modern impact from the set. I think that was in his top five list. I just watched before this video. I think that was in there. Pretty sure that was in there. Our top Was it top five reprints or top five original cards? I, I can't remember. And I'm not familiar enough with the old stuff to know what is and isn't even new or reprint. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! We got a foil zombie! I don't know if that was a core... Well, it was a cordial vampire, not zombie, but... Are, are there are there cordial zombies, too? Can we get a cordial zombie? Is that a thing? Exclude! No, they're excluded. Generous Gift, that's one of the higher-end uncommons of the set as well. Collector... Oop! Oof! Oof. Is that Force Negation? I think that's Force Negation. Goblin. That'd be a nice card to get in the back end here. Pull a Force Negation. 
I haven't pulled it. I don't think we've pulled an Urza yet. I don't know if Urza is short printer. We just are unlike with the best cards. Um, we opened. Sorry, not on camera. Watcher of tomorrow for tomorrow. That's that's what I was just meant. Dead of winter. Dead of winter. Uh, forest and the creepy thing and the zombie. Uh, two packs left. But yeah, our case of war of the spark. Sorry, no videos for that. I'm sorry. We did not pull a Liliana. But oh, that's our card I just got. Not force negation. Mobby. Mobby. Um, Moral Fawn of the Boundless. That's like 15 bucks, I think. Maybe down a couple bucks. So the first mythic for this half of the box. Rocks Veteran. There's Rock Steady. Foil Rock Steady. I just finally finished the the good Turtle series. We got Morphon, two Morphons one pack. Interesting. So twice we got a uh, mythic with the same art series card in the pack. All right, last pack, last chance for glory here. What we got? What we got? What we got? Glacial Revelation, Twisted Reflection, Ice Hide Golem, Endling. We got Endling in the end pack. That's fitting, I guess. I suppose that's fitting. And a Foil Soldier. But overall, very solid box. So there's our less worthy foils. It's possible these were like five to eight bucks. I don't have all those values memorized, but namely on the foil front, we got that rare foil Hogach. And uh, just four mythics, I guess. Just four mythics. We had three in the left half of the box, one on the right side, unless I missed one. So there's four mythics. Let's do a very quick peek here. Uh, we got three campy lands. We got the Prismatic Vista. So we did quite well overall, I'd say. Especially with that foil. And we got the Hogach as regular rare as well. So solid box, I think. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, I'll be opening some more. I'll space out the videos a little bit. But there will be more box wins of this set coming to the channel in the near future. So please make sure you subscribe and rock smash that like button. Visit thegamecapital.com for your Magic the Gathering and other trading card game needs. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time whenever and wherever that may be, including twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. See you next time, everybody.